Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Alienware Summers and Cup. I'm LD. I am joined by uh, rather sour Pyrian Flax. It's time for game number two of Five Youngs versus Vegas Squadron. Holy cow, LD. I'm not normally one to complain about this, but this casting is abysmal. The constant hero whining, displays of ignorance of the game, brackets, you just have to have played Wyvern once to know she is a female, close brackets, stupid profanity, what is with this? You got an explanation? Uh, we suck. The camera work, <laughs> for t the camera work especially sucked. Uh, nah, dude. The I mean, good like, news is, it can't be worse. Like, I, I would actually have to try for it to be worse, so. I mean, they've, they've, they've squeezed the Lena through. Okay, I, I get that. They banned AA, that's smart. They banned Quop, okay. But very, I mean. Very targeted bans here, actually. Yeah. Also, wait, somebody told me how to pronounce five youngs. Hold on. Let me just scroll down to that. On Twitter, this is from the Cornish, who says it's pronounced Junks. 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 One of the three possible plurals of Junge. You pronounce it as Jungens. Five so Jungens. So almost Jungs. five Jungens. <laughs> yeah, it says five Junks. Which is apparently what it means, right? It means like five boys, basically. Yeah. Fun, fun, Junks. Okay. Five Junks. I feel like we're putting a little extra inflection beyond what's really necessary, but maybe. Yeah. Kuro, Kuro linked me a pronunciation video, and I, I tried it like five times. Needless to say, it did not click, so yeah, it's this a, is helpful. I, mean, it's, it's, I honestly I don't think it's a tricky language, German. Like, if you're going to learn a language, German is pretty easy to learn compared to a lot of uh, languages, English especially. Uh, but uh, I, I don't quite understand all the, you know, the grammar, as it were. Yeah, uh, the grammar is very interesting compared to... Yeah, you know, most of the romance languages, which are generally the ones that like Westerners will learn in school. But all right, right let's talk Dota. P flex. Now the storm yeah, comes out right. again. No ancient apparition partner though. I, I like the fact that they bet it because sure they win the last game, but I feel like Kuroki was a big problem and almost carried them on that AA. Yeah, I, I think he was actually their one sort of the, the ace up their sleeve. Uh, I mean, maybe Lena can be that this time if she gets a blink. You know, you can get in there with Storm Spirit, do a ton of damage or whatever. Maybe, maybe. That could be a thing, but uh, we'll have to see. I mean, they, they have self-banned the clock, so they know it didn't work. So, okay, we'll ban it, because we, we don't. what you don't want is to have it turned around on you. You don't want it flipped on you. Like, it didn't work for us, but we're going to pick it and use it against you. But they've got Tusk. Oh, baby. One of my favorite heroes. Yeah, Tusk, Tusk Dazzle. So many good saves this game. Uh, is this where you bring out the Chop Lord? Do we see uh, an Axe pick? I, I doubt it, but I would wet myself if we did. I I think it's not a terrible axe game. He's really good against PL through like the first 25 to 30 minutes. Good setup for Lena. The only issue with axe is generally he wants the jungle stacks, and that's something Lena and Storm may may also want. But if they can find a way to lane him, the Chop Lord could be the way to go. Good against Dazzle with the Grave uh, later on in the game. and Oh, yeah. Pretty long duration disable. So. We'll see. I mean, I, I will just say that I don't think jungling is is the way to go. Even though, there you go, Ember Spirit. Holy crap! They're going full spirit. So, so when I said axe, I meant Ember. You meant Ember, Ember yeah. Spax. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you messaged me that on on the Skype. Yeah. I like, dropped you a quick Skype message yeah. just to cover myself, you know. So we're we're still undefeated here on our predictions. As Vega go oh. for a Wind Ranger, saw that coming for sure. So she some... she is legit good. Like I I do not know why she isn't picked. A lot more because I think she's an awesome hero, who like the the changes they made to her, especially with the Ags upgrade and stuff like that, made her so good. I think Wind Ranger is amazing, uh, so I'm curious to see how this plays out. The only thing I would say is there's a lot of magic damage there, and I don't think I don't I don't personally see how Wind Run is going to sort of help against that. But hey, maybe she's about more than that. You tell me, LD. She's. She's they she they have a lot of lockdown for her so like it's not one of those games where Wind Ranger can just easily kite you and run away the storm can always chase so you can still get her with the chains and she can't wind run out of that uh, yep. they've got plenty of control um, there are good saves here on Vega which is where to me Vega's the team that is more about when they fight together whereas a lot of these five five boy heroes can just run around finding solo kills if they get ahead so yeah um, we'll yeah. see if Vega can play around that they I like the silencer ban though. Can really shut down the storm, the ember, and the wyvern. If you can't save yeah. people because you're silenced, then the sign up falls apart. So I actually really like that ban. I think they banned the phoenix because they're sick of people that have glowing shit on them. Like two birds, two spirits. Come on. I mean, you know, ban the phoenix. That makes sense to me. Yeah, yeah, I like the phoenix ban. Which means this is a support Lena, right? 
Uh, well, it means Vega thinks it's a support Lena. I I think it is though because I mean who's gonna off lane with this draft? So unless they do some sort of weird aggressive dual lane, like Lena plus one, maybe. But versus a PL Dazzle, potentially a Tusk Girl meaning that's kind of risky. So yeah, I think it is the support Lena like you mentioned. I mean the the strat here says to me like Ember Spirit needs time. If you're not running Lena as a core, she's gonna need time, and she's then gonna become reasonably dangerous, I guess. Storm Spirit's gonna need a little bit of time, so. Five Youngs are kind of, they're looking for something here. Sorry, Funf Youngs are looking for something here, but I don't know. Like, are they looking for are they looking for late game here with this lineup? Hmm. They they Ember is probably one of the best heroes against PL late game, just because right. uh, just because he can do so much burst damage and also obviously clear out the illusions very frequently. So I think they can go late, but they're also they're also very mid game. Like they have a good power peak in the mid game when they get their items, so I think it's yeah. it's pretty flexible. But I if they if it goes late, I feel they match up against the PL much better than last time around, and I did Ooh. not see that one coming. Ooh, the Horn Devil emerges. Interesting. Uh, I I I mean I honestly think that's a pretty greedy lineup. Oh, it's definitely honest. greedy. <laughs> they have. I mean, you've got. They have five but, heroes that need levels, four that need farm. Yeah. And they have. Very little team fight until they get those levels. Like what? Yeah. What's your and even what? Even then, it's much more of a pick off where it's a draft. But uh, the the nature's profit is good here, just because he can really be a pain in the rear for the jungle, constantly blocking the camps, denying the dazzle his early levels, or maybe the tusk, depending on who goes to that lane. I think it's gonna be dazzle pl tusk plus one off lane, or maybe just a tusk solo and then wind ranger mid, but. Yeah, I, I, this is a little greedy, but they're very good at spreading the map. And Vega don't have that much catch. Like they're not, they don't have the mobility that you really want to be able to hunt these this double spirit profit trio. Interesting. Interesting. What's this fifth pick? We've got ginger on ginger action already. How are we going to round things out here for Vega? When you say ginger, it sounds so negative, like redhead. Beautiful redhead on beautiful redhead. Let's put it that way. <laughs> One of my best friends in college was a was a redhead, and needless to say, did not like being called a ginger, but also called himself a ginger all the time. So. Yeah, he's allowed to, right? Yeah. You know. Do, yeah. do you consider it discriminatory, Ted? Nah, dude. But I mean, it's still a you know, if you call someone a ginger, you're basically saying I don't like redheads. That's what you're saying. Like no, in the it's UK, just, I'm just jealous of their red ha hair. You know, I'm so. jealous of all hair, dude. So, you know, <laughs> I'm getting there myself. I don't care what color buddy. it is. <laughs> don't sweat it, LD. That's why. That's why I cut you know your. What? I cut your hair off here, Ted, in the in the what image. What people so. don't know is that as your hair diminishes, your penis potency and size increases. Like people, that's not a common. You, Google it. So right? what, so then when so when Blitz says he has a micro penis, he's really not kidding. No, he doesn't have a micro penis. He's he's loaded apparently. <laughs> <laughs> he's loved it. He has one have of, you have biggest, you gotten a look? Caught a cop to feel? Penises in esports. Well, I said to him I didn't believe him, and he said I'll fucking show it to you. And I was like, I drew the line. I was like, well, no one would pull that bluff. You know, they wouldn't call my bluff and pull that card out of their pocket unless they were convinced. But I, I happen to know through Blitz all the penis sizes of most of the people involved in Dota. Bizarrely enough, he 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 asked <laughs> he some them. He kind I love that guy, but he knows a lot about a lot of people that you don't want to know. Like, yeah, that's why I, I, I've been keeping my distance lately and also uh, zipping my trousers before I walk by. <laughs> don't let him near you, because he will, he will uh, yeah, he'll know. Yeah, I lock my door when I'm at TI, man. No hesitation. All right, here we go. Game two, best of three. Vega, leading 1-0. We've got the five boys, the five youngs. Math Yumba Mayan, Matumba Man on the Ember Spirit. Wait, yep. what? Did you say something? No, I said yep. Yep, okay. <laughs> Fought on the Storm Spirit. Karoki will be your Lena. Jerax playing that support Wyvern. And that does leave Mind Control on the Prophet in the well. As for Vega, we've got Mag, the offlane Tusk. No one will be on the Wind Ranger. Pasha, not to be confused with Pasha Biceps on the PL. Solo, your Disruptor. And then Sioma the Slayer on the Dazzle. Well done. Thank you. I practiced that. Yeah. This looks like mid wind ranger, off lane tusk, 
and then I guess the tri lane to support the PL. That's their their gambit is we're gonna win with PL. That makes sense. Hey, it worked for them last time. He he's sticking with the mango, by the way. I mean, Mango's really good on PL because that Lance is super spammable, really strong, and uh, if you don't expensive. need to pop it, the regen's pretty nice as well. Yeah, it's expensive. I mean, 150 mana, that's like a, that could be a, your first blood lance right there. It's paid for itself. But we saw the idea last game, right? Like, he barely misses the kill there, probably should have had it, but that, that shows you how good the Mango can be. Yeah, so. I've never bought one, like, ever. I, I don't know people that do. Nobody nobody seems to very much because it's a lot of money for 150 mana. Like I guess it, if you're good enough to need it for that clutch play, but I never do, dude. So yeah, I literally never bought one. We've Kill got... those trees. They look these trees look like frogs. By the way, Coddle guy is in chat, uh, calling you out and saying that's a myth. What's so, a myth? The the uh, the baldness penis size. No, it's 100 percent true. I don't know, man. He's foreheading you right now. He's giving you the Twitch <laughs> memes. Jesus. All right. Anyway, let's talk Dota. I'll play Tusk here. Getting harassed a bit by Kuro. So it is indeed a, a support leader in the end. Yeah. Should have I mean, a... if, anyone, if anyone's going to make it work, it's going to be Kuro. But personally, I, I, I like her too much as a core to do this to her. Like, I feel like you get items on Lena, she can win a game. But, uh, you know, whatever. It'll work, I'm sure. And if the game goes late, she'll have a few items by the end that make, will make her dangerous. Her ult is always dangerous. She's got a lot of damage, a lot of burst, and uh, good stun. So, yeah, I, make, I guess it makes sense. If you, I mean, if you're good as Kuro, Jesus, why not? It's going to be... It should be a better lane for the Tusk, though, because instead of a Gyro now, you've got a, an Ember Spirit safe lane. And last game, we saw the Sand King really couldn't stay in the lane, but uh, I think Mag should be happier with the matchup. Although, as I say that... They are bringing the Wyvern in for some pulling, so if they if they try lane, he may struggle a bit. I mean, bear in mind, he's got no XP so far. Yeah, okay. they're controlling I'm, I'm this nicely. Saying, I mean, Ember is level two and a half. He's level one and, and none, right? He's got he's got nothing. The issue with uh -huh. the, the Tusk, though, is if he does get shut down, unlike the Sandkey, you can't just go to the woods. Right. So yeah. that's, that's where you have to worry a bit. They are stacking, though. Sam of the Slayer, busy over there, once again in the woods. He's going to come up here, and I guess they're going to try and maybe try and get Fata when he goes for the rune. Ah, three no, heroes, though. Look this is this not support. happening. The seeds of fortune. And he See, gets the DD it. rune. That's big. That is nice. Simple stuff like that. They just walk down like this. Storm gets a DD rune. Fantastic. He's got a bottle DD rune. Now you don't dare go on him. Uh -huh. You have win run to at least not die, but oh, meanwhile, Solo oh. going aggressive on mind control. The glimpse back comes. He's bringing in reinforcements. There's the heal. I don't know if they have this. I'm going to try Ted one more auto attack. Oh, no, the oh, he lives. Eight hit points I think he had. And Vegas Solo runs away. Holy crap. That was close. But this sucks to be profit because now he's got to all go back to base. So in some ways, I, I know some people say like early on, these early kills, he's now got to walk all the way back to base. Then he's got to re wait for the reach uh, regen. Then he's got to go back in. That's kind of like even more annoying for him in terms of, all right, he would have given up some gold for first blood, but he's actually spending a lot more time fannying about here in base, waiting to regen, walking back. Like this is about a minute and a half of his time out, just standing around doing fuck all. It's it's worse for it's better it's uh it's better for the team, but yeah, it's worse for him as a an individual hero. And the bottom lane was kind of pushed, so he he would have been able to leech experience. So you're definitely right there that this is it's one of those things where it might not be better for the team, but. Yeah, for the hero himself, he's very sad. Yeah. So let's have the, the TP, though. He, he used the teleport scroll to get down here, so... Yeah, I Important like to keep in mind that he can just teleport out if Peel ever harasses him too much. But, yeah, Mag is struggling. Level 2. Yeah, I mean, it's not it's no fun. He's, I think he's bringing the Dazzle in now to... Uh, this is not a Sand King, though. Like, this is going to take so long. Even Windranger is not that good. None of their heroes are good at clearing stacks, to be honest. Yeah, that's true, actually. It's a bit of a worry. Mind Control needs to TP out, maybe. Oh, Pasha trying to force it. He's got the mango, though. Has the I mean, mango. If, if you if you think about stack farming, like, yeah, you can you know, you know can do some, some whittling and then get a power shot. PL, you know, he, he could go farm stacks, no problem. But compare that to Storm, Lina, Ember. They can, like... Later on in the game, especially, they can like one shot, two shot a stack, no problem. It's uh, it is going to be very tricky for them to catch up if they get behind. That's a good uh, point. Is yeah, it's a bit of a greedier draft, but they're all good at farming. Like all yeah. of these heroes, 
even the Wyvern and the Wyvern and Lena are both two of the better supports for farming. Once you level up Splinter Blast and I mean Lena just heard normal complement of nukes, so if it turns into a running mag, look at this is running mag. Lena's only just barely level two. Ember is level five. The offlane is level two. This has been a disaster of an offlane. Yeah, it's it's the, it's the fact that they have three heroes here that's really hurting because they're they're able to always keep the lane back. He can't run up because he doesn't see the supports. Yeah. So they are investing a lot, but now the swing around, they get the lane ward down. Might be able to go here on Mag. I mean, I guess if you look at look at it another way, Nature's Prophet is only level three and a half, and he's had to go back to base twice. So it's not like it's going great for him either. He's now pondering what to do. He's sat in base for about 30 seconds. Now off he goes. Now he's stopping again. He's going to buy an old talisman. And then he's going to walk back to base. Okay. He was waiting for that. Big pickup. Oh, yeah. Get that null. <laughs> Tally acquired. You remember when Boat 7 was played Atreus Prophet and he'd get like three null talismans, blade mail, treads every game? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That build, that build of, sucked to play against. Everyone started doing it in pubs. Yeah. Oh, it's terrible. You can't fight the Prophet early. Yeah, it's terrifying. But then it, it falls off pretty hard if you don't get the the early momentum going. I mean, the, the, this is a problem with builds where people watch a pro player do it and then try and copy it. Is that they're not just building it because the items are good. They're building it because the items are good and they can make value from it. You know, they get value from those builds. They get value from those items. They know they're going to get kills early on because of those items. No oh, one trying to grab the haste no. here, but it's the Storm who bottles it and now commits oh. onto this. He jumps past, does tank the power shot. No one popping the stick, oh, now getting grave kind of early. Oh, wait a second. This could be the redemption of Tusk. Big snowball. Uh oh. Oh, you're in deep, Mag. Run. <laughs> There's the stun. Oh, first blood. Oh, Fata lives on 125 hit points. And Tusk, 12 seconds on the sideline, three and a half minutes. He's dead for. Oi, oi, oi. Some. Some redemption, eh? Yeah, and they're gonna get. I thought it was gonna be. I honestly thought he was just gonna shard and get a kill or something. But it, it goes back to the levels, like you point out. He's only level three. Doesn't have that much damage. Oh, Jerax may be in trouble. Jerax possibly. In comes KK uh, Karoki though. Wah, wah. Oh, Jerax, live! He already popped the mango. He's committing for this. Pasha needs this kill. He can dash away with the doppelganger. Fada's arriving, though. Can they turn this on Pasha? He's blown all, almost all his mana. Finally, will track him down. Hits the illusion. He doesn't hit the real hero. Pasha might get out. Oh, he's still oh. dead. But, oh, man. Jeez. That was close. He sort of showed back out of the trees. I thought if he just straight run, he might have got away. But I don't think so. I think they figured it out anyway. Oh my. That was one of those moments where you just assume the real hero is the one that's running away because <laughs> it looks like he's micro It was a really yeah. nice micro there, but uh, unfortunately they had just enough mana to track him down. Oh, now look at this. Round the back. The Tumba Man. He's going to either go... What is he going to go? Steal? What's he going to do here? Oh, is he going to steal he's the stack? He's checking the stack. Oh, baby. I don't know if he can do it solo, though. Oh, certainly not with backup coming in. The oh, neutrals are nuking him. Oh, all the oh, the shackle missed. He's just gonna. He's just gonna skip. He's out. going in. He's committing nah, for this a bit. He's gonna skip out. Yeah. Uh, well, they will secure their stack. Very important. If the shackle had hit, that could have been entirely different, but uh, it did not. It's it's level two, so I, I think he probably still gets away. But you, know, you can see Jerax wanting to leech this experience. Right, Didn't but he... maybe at that point. Disruptor can get there, get a glimpse on him, you know, get something, maybe, maybe. Well, that's all I'm saying, LD, is it's a possibility. You can't rule it out. They're staying. Matumba Man is staying. They're bringing in the whole gang. Oh, Jerax! He's getting low. He's trying to bait this with the cold embrace still available. Does the power shot in one, They have two. the glimpse. He's in range, not using it. Just yet. They go for Kuro. Oh, just misses. He knew it was coming. Oh, Matumba Man, he stays and he gets a double. What a player! And Going for more. more. Can he get it? He's got the flame guard burning down Solo. Looking oh. to finish him off while elsewhere Mag's also in the retreat out at Solo. Dropping the kinetic field. One more slice of that blade will bring him down. And finally the PL shows up along with the Tusk. Looking to turn this one around. Fata's out of mana. They desperately need this kill, but there's no more nukes available. And Mag, so it's up to Pasha to do it solo. Gets the first kill. Looks for mind control. No TP. He will clean up. And PL gets a triple. I'm going to be honest with you. I think... PL getting the triple there is worse. Oh my god, Matumba Man on a mega kill streak though. Yeah, he just got his own triple, feel... pretty sure. Oh, Shackle, no, they're not gonna do... I don't think they can do much with it. Can they glimpse him? They can glimpse him. He's got the remnant ready though. He's trying to bait out the glimpse and then drop to the remnant. And they just can't keep up. 
Man, they I would not say, let them like, just farm that stack, I, Ted. I can't, I can't tell. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think if you've got a stack that big, you've got to defend it. but And, and you've got to attack it. Like, they know. At this level, they know you're going to stack. And they know when to attack it and the timings and everything. It's really, really good to see. Because I always go like, how did Shadow Farm, Shadow Fiend get so far? It's like, well, because people have been stacking it, we didn't do shit about it. But they were like, right, we've got to attack these stacks, guys. And it makes such a huge difference. Yeah, now they're scouting with Treants as well. They are going to keep close tabs on this Radiant Jungle. and They did get dewarded, but uh, I, I just love the fact that they're they're thinking to that next step of just trying to win the economy game. And Yeah, yeah. yeah they're, it's still an even game, though. Vega did deward them, so well played yeah. there. I mean, the thing is, when we're talking about the economy game, we were just we were debating which team was greedier, and I kind of feel like when you've got an Ember Spirit and a Lina and a Prophet and a Storm, they all want a, some some cheddar to spend on on shiny things. So it kind of feels like it makes sense to attack their economy, you know. Uh -oh. I think I think he'll get. I think he gets him here. Hundred percent. Sayoma has the grave. He's gonna bait till the last second. Oh, There's the, the shackle flips. connecting. They do have a double oh, damage rune. Now trying to commit in while the PL does find his first kill. No one's going to get caught, though. As Storm arrives and will end up getting the kill with that secondary remnant. All they get is a Nature's Prophet for that. A two-for-one around the map. Yeah, I was watching the other fight. It was not as exciting. That one looked way better. <laughs> Your Prophet just gets butchered. Tusk is now level 8. So this is the thing. You leave him alone for a little bit and... Uh... He's getting, he's getting his levels, he's doing okay, he's doing okay. He's, you know, he's, he's, he's up there. Got his Arcane Boots, you know, got, got the ultimate now. Actually, yeah, he's doing really well now. Just imagine where he'd be if he hadn't had a tough time in lane. But see, this is the thing, he didn't panic, he didn't die. Oh, this shot goes down. Matumba Man. Matumba Man is away with it. He's 7 and 0, oh, dude. Yeah, they've got an Ember problem. <laughs> They have. And they're not done yet. They also have to deal with the Storm Spirit, and they keep on going on to Pasha. No ultimate up yet for the Wyvern, but they're hunting Mag at the same moment. But Tumba just going in deeper and deeper. He does tank a Walrus Punch. Not going to matter, even with the Sigil. Get away once more. You know what? It's, it's weird because to, to me, and I'm sure a lot of shitty players like me, Ember is a hero that without a shitload of items, you can't do anything. But Matumba Man is like, nope, I haven't even leveled Sight of Fist. I'm going to fight. From the, ten, from the eight minute mark onwards, he's been balls deep in their woods. It's just incredible. <laughs> Mind control not so lucky though. Once yeah. again, this poor punching bag of a prophet oh. goes down. Yeah, he's, he's, he's one and three. I mean, but you know, you gotta make the space. He's doing his job. I, it's like, it's okay for him to die as long as the, the real cores are surviving here. And, I mean, especially Matumba Man. Out of control. Well, Ted, the game's going to settle down a little bit. We might actually get to have a breather here. Eh, who needs a breather, LD? I need more blood. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that, that sounded like a very vampire thing to say. <laughs> it did, actually. I thought, I thought you were going with that. Yeah. Like, as a gag. Uh, Ooh, oh, that's scary minute. shit. All oh, right, they're jumping in. Wowie. I'm just now realizing what a strong combo Ember is. Holy crap. <laughs> is Mike Troll gonna die again? He lives! He lives, gang! He did it! And now Mag going in! One by one! Snowball for the save! Pasha, though, takes out the Lina with the PL's help. Pasha! By the way, Matumba Man again making the plays here. I mean, oh, maybe he's overextended. Oh. He has overextended! Oh. He gets embraced and it actually helps secure the kill, preventing him from any sort of retreat. But it's alright, disrupted with the money, you know. No one important. Snowball, Jerax! Has the Walrus Punch. Oh, oh he can't get a range. Honestly, landing Walrus Punch is, is not easy, you know? you got to get so close. It's ridiculous. That's what the it snowball's for, though. Make it global. What? Yeah, but... Walrus Punch should be global? <laughs> yeah, I think it's just... Oh, the shuckle! Oh, Mag, why you no punch? He waited towards us. I just punched straight up, dude. Come on. Ugh. That hurts. And if that's a level 3 shackle, they also get the kill. Yeah, yeah, oh you're my. right. Painful times here for Vega. Leedy 1-0, but not able to secure that early advantage we saw in the game, the first game of the day. This looks like five youngs are going to be in the driver's seat. Youngs. Youngs. Five youngs. Funf youngs. Funf youngs. Funf. F-U-N-F. Funf. Say it. Funf. F-U-N-F. Funf youngs. <laughs> I feel like oh. I'm being recruited by a, a some I, kind of group. Some kind of group from Germany. <laughs> it's 
say no more. <laughs> I will. I will say no more. <laughs> I think it's illegal to even mention it there. I could be wrong, but no, I, I believe it is, or at least certain expressions are. But uh, either way, no towers down here yet for the radiant or the the dire. Yeah, did lose their tier one bottom. It's a lot of action, but still map control for both teams. Yeah, this, this is a fun game. This is the last game was fourteen to fourteen at like thirty minutes. This is ten to twelve at fifteen. Let it roll, my friend. I'm all in. I've only missed the one kill bottom, but there was something else happening, so... Well, we're all warmed up now, LD. You know, we're all, we're all warmed up. I know you were casting with Winter before you casting with me, but that's a serious cast. Now yeah. you've got to pay attention. You know Radiant's what I mean? I'm going to distract you at every turn. Like you're, a, keep like it, a... you're keeping me on my toes, Ted. <laughs> yeah, you've got to pay attention. You're, you're, not you're accelerating you. the balding process, though, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can do that, LD. Oh, might be part of your master plan. Just testosterone. You know, I'm trying to make, like, me and Shane are bold. We're trying to make every, all the other people in Dota 2 bold. Really? Yeah, I'm working on some people. Well, let me tell you, Ted, it's working on me. <laughs> yep. Good luck, dude. Don't worry about it. Rip. Being bold is awesome. No, you it's... Can, it's your time, time in the shower is cut to seconds. Yeah, you don't have to worry about, you know, doing your hair up or anything. You just gotta yep. keep Windy it days nice and mean clean. nothing. Never buy hair products again. Never buy shampoo, conditioner again. Easy life. So you're G -G. saying it's financially good. We should all shave saying, our heads. I'm saying no hair bros for life. All right. I'll be joining you soon. <sighs> Enjoy it. Ember Spirit does go for BOTs here. So matching those of the PL. Very this is, this aggressive, is aggressive build. That is really aggressive, I think, actually. The boots of travel. He wants to be there in the fights. Like, it's if there's a fight going bot and he's top, he wants to be there. It's great with the Nature's Prophet, too, because you can just summon the Treants and then he can instantly join you. Yeah, he is there. He's 8 and 1. He wants to fight. Wind Ranger is 0 and 3. She doesn't want to fight. This is when you take it to the enemy. This is when you take it to your foe. Oh, they're getting aggressive here, but this might be a bit too aggressive as Pasha has found Jerex. Needs to get out of there with the Arctic Burn going for the TP out with a neutral stun. He drags the centaur towards him. Almost getting in range for the stomp. What is, does. I mean, Lena gets a Yules here and it's easy street, right? Like. Oh, yeah, you they, definitely they get Yules. So, they can set up so much. Yours is, I mean, the one here you can't is the PL because it'll just doppelganger, but right, right. everyone else, it's a pretty easy kill. I may have baited Twitch chat into spamming I'm, that. I'm reading I it now. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> I wouldn't say you've created a monster, but you've fed the monster. I did, I did, yeah, yeah. It was not my intention, I promise. Oh, oh yeah, sure it wasn't. <laughs> I, I didn't know they would react that way. Who knows? Well, you thought they would have a calm, civil discussion? Yeah, I thought they'd say, yeah, he's right, guys. Moving on to the mid lane now. They do get the oh. initiation onto no one. Uh-oh. Oh, That's not man. good. This this is why Matumba Man's got these boots of travel. So he can be everywhere. His initiation is, is amazing. Like, he can get in there, shackle you, that's it. I mean, and then you got Mind Control coming on top of it. Like you said, really strong. And I, I feel like that's his job, is to turn up late to the party and make things easier. He's got that medallion. Look at the storm just going in. He baits off the static storm. Beautiful play by Fada. Well, oh. it will cost him his life. But now the curse, it's on three. Oh, oh. Mind Control picking it up around the back. But Tumba Man's going to run. They can mag once more. What next? What next? How about a punch? Oh, he punched a creep. Oh my god, he did. There's the finger, doesn't get him. Pash is gonna live. He's gonna live on 27 health. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. Slide of fist. Slide of fist. Yeah, I don't think he, he's gonna get the finger. Ah! There it is. Off with your head. Shwing. Oh, oh dear. Wind Ranger, meanwhile. Just look at the up. graph, dude. Look at the graph. Yeah. Let me have a look. Hold on. That's the most vertical. That? Wow. Direction that? I think I've ever seen on this graph. Now, I, I was thinking of TI, a lot of the graphs look like Batman. If you look at the gold graph, that looks like Batman, Radiant's right? That looks like Batman giving the rest of the attack. team the finger. Look at that. There's Batman on the right. <laughs> there's, a little, there's a little finger. There's, there's a little his Batman. arm. He's flipping everybody off. That is, that is a Batman graph right there, my friend. Yeah, people were talking about the Batman graph a while ago, but this is actually the Batman graph. I'm with you, buddy. Who was talking about it? That's my thing. Someone talked. Uh, I forget what it was. Someone there was like a game of TI in the group stage that it, might, it was me. I think. Well, was it, it was, you? Okay. That's my thing, right? The Batman graph. I invented I, Batman. I, I don't know, dude. I, I'm not. I wasn't there when that nah. got invented. Fuck anyone that tries to claim it. That's my thing. All right, the Batman graph. All right. I, I'm 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 rescinding my my claim, Ted. Yeah. I, I was gonna try to steal it from you, but. Good luck. <laughs> 
I don't think my heart's in it. Radiant I'm not gonna lie. Oh wow, Wind Ran Wind Ranger is 0 4. She just picked up a mail screen. Like I, I don't, I don't feel. Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh storm! Oh, he pulls in the illusion. Oh, Part of these illusions have really thrown him off. They're committing for this as well, expecting the big oh, they're dive to pay off. They're gonna get him. They're gonna get him. Uh -oh. Double Meanwhile, Nature's Prophet gets killed off top lane as... Well, he stuck around a bit too long, and Matumba Man, he's going back in again onto Sayoma! Yeah, why not? Get him! Kill Dazzle! One shot, nice, and he's out! Peace! Are you not a Dazzle lover? Um... Like him, the PL. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. I, I, see, this that, is... see, it's like I was saying. They didn't give a hoot about her wind run or anything like that. It's like, you, you get it, you get it locked down, that's it. She's oh, they found Matumba, man. They might finally be able to kill him. They do. 700 gold just from wow. the kill alone. But again, it goes to Disruptor. That's yeah. two big kills that have both gone to Disruptor. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm a big fan of Disruptor, okay? Radiance if he gets Axe, that could change attack. things around. If he can catch Ember and he can catch Storm. It is all, you know, pretty cool. Don't get me wrong, that's nice. <laughs> oh, my control, what are you doing? He's going for the courier. Dude, get out while you can. Oh, he gets one shot off on it. Run, oh, donkey. Oh, no, don't the let trees. the trees. Get the okay. trees. Oh, I'm not sure that was worth, but he's died so much now. He's actually only four and five. I thought it was way worse for him. You know what? I, I did not realize that uh, you could you could shadow wave the courier and heal it. That's interesting. That is something else. But uh, yeah, they seize the courier flying back from the, I guess from the lane ward, or maybe it was from the hill ward. He decides to go for it, and eh, you know it doesn't work out, but I, I think it's still a worthy play. Yeah, I guess. Come on, if he gets that courier kill, he gets out. That's so epic. Yeah, but he's never gonna get out. It's like, is it worth killing a courier just to die? I don't even if it had anything on it. I think people people focus on the courier kills too much. Like I don't, I don't know if it's worth. Like early on, they're gonna be wrong. Like early on, if you can if you can kill the mid courier, he can't bottle crow, he can't get his bottle. Amazing. Like you've almost won mid with that one play. But dying to try and kill the courier and not succeeding? Come on. I, I'm not sure it's worth it. It's psychological warfare. It's like, yeah, you know what? I just poured your drink on your head and now I'm gonna piss on Got your boots you as well. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of it's one of those plays. Bottom tower they either they don't know this happening or they they really can't do much about it. I'm gonna say the latter. They're gonna go and well, they're gonna three-man push top. There's the Roche on the storm, which shows up as red, even though he's clearly blue. Thank yeah, you, I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I've seen that quite a few times. Is that just a reborn thing, or? Yeah, that, that's a reborn thing. I mean, I think you could put most like if there's a hurricane somewhere, you could just put that down for reborn at this point. Here we go, Fata killing some creeps. Nice. Mind control. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Awesome. Meanwhile, split pushing top. They're gonna lose bot tier two though. Matumba man has what's he got? Boots of travel. Almost well, a battle fury as yeah, well. He's getting, there. He's getting, there. He's getting he's the deeps. Too, I mean. This is interesting because I, I really like this play. Rather than just go for the passive farming ember, he's gone for the I'm gonna get my farm by killing yours. Trying to kill off the storm though. Pasha's oh. in a bit too far. He dodges the leader stun! But still has to run away. He's in danger. They have the Laguna. Matumba! He lives. Oh, he doesn't. He dies. Holy cow. <laughs> he charges in, but he gets it right to the grave. He's going to stay alive for another heal bomb. The turn. They already got Matumba, man. They're going to bring down Fada, cracking the ages. They have to shackle. They've got to find the angle here. These Treants are his worst enemy. Balling oh. out. They get the vision. They'll get Jerax as well. Cursing everyone, though. Oh, Sioma. Oh. oh, wow. <sighs> Ends just in time. That, that Dazzle lived on like five hit points there. That's ridiculous. And now they can push Rax. They can genuinely push, push Rax. Force Matumba men to buy back at least. No, they're going to go defend, are they? They're just going to go back to farming. Fair enough. Oh my goodness. That was so big. Look at the graph now right back the other way. <laughs> now Batman's uh, giving both sides the finger. Yeah, the double like, finger. Wow. He must really be mad. It's like the end of the Dark Knight. The one where he's just like, no, I gotta be the bad guy now. It's because it'll flip everybody off. Is that the second one or the, the last one? I think the second one. It might not even be called the Dark Knight. I'm pretty sure it's called the Dark Knight. <laughs> try once where you don't succeed, just try again, Teddy. Yeah. You got the courier. And this time it had a, an ultimate orb on it. But oh, they got it? Oh, man. Yeah, and mind control, making the plays. <sighs> what a game. 18 yeah. to 19 it's a 20. fun one.
This is a fun one. I mean, the Groff is up and down like... Oh! Go close. I'm gonna get in close on this Tusk. Wow, that's like super laggy. My Dota can't handle this. He's, a, he's in a snowball at the moment. Oh, they're just going. Move camera after respawn. Huh? Oh. He couldn't couldn't move his camera after respawn. Oh, okay. No, I, I see what it is. He thought had, he was like he, issuing directions to me. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no hey, he, idiot he casters, move your camera. Yeah, move your camera after respawn, idiot. I think he had it set up so that after he respawns his camera moves. Uh oh, they have found oh. the nature's prophet. Snowball's here. Oh, they have the, the punch. Give him the punch. Ah! Got him. Oh, the trees died. He's out. I think he's out. Yeah. Meanwhile, oh. uh, nothing much going on. Looks like there was a little skirmish, but Sayoma will get away. Dyer's bottom tower. They must have the battle for him, Matumba man. He's yeah, rather farmed. Be... Still the PL in first place here, though. Yeah, I mean, PL's just been sort of chilling, farming. Dyer's bottom tower I do kind of wonder, I, I want to see how PL stands up against uh, uh, each other, like PL versus Ember. I'd like to see that. It seems to me like ultra late game, the Ember actually matches up really well. But there's that like that middle of the game where he's just got like the Battle Fury, maybe a Crystallis, and PL's just completed like the, the Manta is building towards the heart where it's kind of tough to kill off the illusions. But you get past that and you're in good shape. Yeah. As long I mean, as you're they've careful. Got, they, they've got the heroes to make the space. Oh, oh Kuroki. Gonna turn. He's gonna engage onto this leader. Dropping the stun. No one is just gonna get blown up by a support. Fada coming in to collect his bloodstone charge. Very nice. Let's, let's not call Lena a support, okay? I mean, she she may, he may have run her as a support in lane, but come on. I mean, that damage output, 675 damage plus the combo on top. It, it, she is no support, my friend. I am sorry. Kuroki Sama, K God, I have disrespected you. He needs to go back to base here. Actually. He's got two and a half grand. What do you get here on Lena? Uh, probably eggs, I think. Yeah, it's too good not to really. I'm not sure what else he would get. Four staff is always is decent. Glimmer cape is okay. Yeah. What's he gonna do? He's got two and a half grand. Come on, Kuro. Hope I saw they different. <laughs> Just because I mentioned those two items. Here comes the Dagon Lena. Nope. Oh, he's bought something. Yeah, point booster. Yeah, he's, he's getting an axe. Yeah, he's getting an axe. Okay. Battle Fury up. All right. Let the farming commence. Yeah. So now at this point, if you're Fum Jung Jung Junkers, do you do you <laughs> just say, well, look? It sounds like you're saying Junkers, honestly. It does. Hey, five Junkers. What are you gonna do? Forget about it. Do you go back to farming now, Zemper, and say, "All right, you know, we danced, but now it's time to farm," or do you do you just carry on fighting? I mean, he's got a battle fury, which to me is like farming item, but on Ember, it's kind of like also a fighting item, isn't it? They want to find that like good balance where you get some. F oh, uh oh, not again, not again, no one, you poor unfortunate soul. It's, it's oh, it's almost too easy. Oh, and they're gonna get more. Storm goes in. In comes mind control. Dazzle just fucking grave TPs. But Magus you know, engaging that. though, he gets up the shards and now the peel arrives in the middle of the fight. Can he turn it? Snowball static storm, what a combo! Looking for more fauna in danger here as the bloodstone and I will pop it to get out of this one, but they can't deal with the monkey army. Now hunting on the Jax, they'll bring him down as well. A two for three. Looking for more. Lena stuns there, but he has the doppelganger. He still got the defusal blade. I think he can actually fight this. Has yeah, to be I, think, careful. I think my Tumba man can do this here actually. Yeah, he's got him. Nice. That is nice. Oh, they might even get Mag. Remnanting in. It's a wipe, oh. I think. Oh, the snowball in the last second, but he's going to die surely in a second. There it is. Holy moly. Five for one. They only lost a wipe. I mean, that's barely a loss. But Tumba Man, what a god. The 12 and 3. Full team wipe. 4,000 gold. Uh, yeah, he's he's a problem. That's the Crystalis right there. And he can come right back. Radiant if he wants it. May just buy the Demon Edge. We'll see. But he's got the luxury now of... Building towards another item. Getting fat. That's the thing about Ember. The, the ability to go back to base, recharge, and then come right back in is, is so huge. Yeah, it's like, it, his, like there's, especially with BOTs. With BOTs, there's basically no downtime. Yeah, he's, he's literally either farming or killing all the time. And it also saves you gold, which, which is nice. 
yeah. the teleport I mean, scroll, you know. The only, the only person he's behind in terms of net worth is PL, which you'd expect because PL is a beast. Although he's dead. Yeah, I. he had a lot of gold before that fight. Buys the Manta now, still has 2,400. Oh, you know what? The ultimate orb was, uh, that was from the dead courier, so that's why he didn't actually have it. Right, right, right. Probably would have made, honestly would have made a pretty big difference. Oh, huge ball in top lane. God, they hate this Wind Ranger. They really do. I feel like, the, oh, nice static storm though. That's gonna back him up. Fatig is punched. Oh, the shards of the snowball on top, he's in trouble. Wow, how did that power shot not hit Matumba, man? Seriously? Oh, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have mattered too much. Yeah, but I mean, still, it's annoying. <laughs> Is that really the one thing that gets you annoyed right now? Mm. By the way, look at Jerax with the uh, the Glimmer plays. Glimmer's into position, gets the ward down in the base. Another Courier Snipe may be coming here. Mind Control is going to be happy about this. We'll see. Everybody's got a Glimmer cape. Actually, there's only two, but <laughs> also Shadow Blade on the Prophet. It feels like more. And Pasha will now buy his Reaver, so he is tanking up quite a bit. Runs onto Matumba Man. And he'll just jaunt away. And yeah, that's Alina Eggs. Not a support. Wow. Almost even with the Wind Ranger network. I told you, dude. She's never a support. Glimmer from Solo as he backs it up. You know the worst part is? Go on. No one just got his BKB. The Wind oh, Ranger. Wow. <laughs> He's All just right. gonna die again to the Laguna. Yeah, good luck. It's a and level three is... Laguna. She's got it's... 1300 health. This is like three quarters of her health. Like once Kuro gets a blink, that's it. That's basically it for Wind Ranger. I mean, I get. I mean, he'd have to land the stun really well. Radiant actually, she could. She could maybe. Uh, the courier got sniped to the base again, by the way. So the oh, ward does wow. pay off, but they move on to Jerex here. Also trying to hunt onto Kuroki. Pasha does manage to get the kill, and now TP is getting canceled rather rapidly. Jerex frantically scrambling to get away. They have a glimpse, but no vision. They'll get it, perhaps, from the shard. Yes, they do. Yep, Glimpsing him back, and yeah, he's trapped. Pretty yeah, screwed. I'm going to say he's dead. An Good excellent prediction. Me. Good call from me. Matumba Brilliant Man, shit, though, as usual. This is the thing. Matumba Man wasn't there. Like, okay, they won that fight. But it's not like top lane earlier on when Vega got wiped. You know what I mean? Like, that's... Those are the, like oh, these pickoffs are good. They're going to get Roche up it. That's good. But they're going to lose a tier 2 to Matumba Man, maybe. And he's just farming. Like, he's, he's th 12 and 3. He's having a ball. He's not that worried. All right. Aegis. Oh, thought it was looking for it. He pulls past the Roche pit. And we'll just back out in the end. But yeah, just to reiterate, Prophet got another courier snipe at the well. Wow. Only had a staff of wizardry this time. It's just annoying. Yeah, it is. Because, I mean, now, I mean, that, that does affect the team. Like, Vega now have to. You know, if they had items, they're gonna wait on them. They're gonna go back to base to get them. It do it does matter. You never know. That BKB might have, you know, they wanted to fly it out. He doesn't have it for this fight. They have to fight. He doesn't have it. It, do it does make a difference. Well, do, do you think the PL can do it, Ted? Do you believe? Actually, I kind of do because he's a stupidly sort of good hero. But um, I don't know. Five Yonks are looking. They're looking really strong at the moment. I do think like Disruptor is one of the best supports. I think he. I think he's kind of underrated in his. His ability when you're chasing, especially against heroes like this who, you know, want to try and run away if it's going sour. I think he's super strong. Oh, Storm. Mag with the Glimmer. Has the Blake, has the Blake. He jumps out. Oh, the dust oh. still catching him. Wow, that's unlucky. And Snowball, snowball to waste time. He's going to be able to blink out. No. Oh, that's a nice stun. <laughs> it's taking them a really long time to kill him. <laughs> yeah. It will. He's dead for a minute, though. I guess meanwhile they've been able to push out the other lanes. Yeah, they get something yeah. out of that. Yeah, Matumba looking up. Matumba Wind Man Ranger getting aggressive. Actually, Wind Ranger took the ages here, which I thought was kind of interesting. I mean, I guess that... I mean, I personally think, like, PL could have maybe put the Akula in base and taken it, but Wind Ranger's got it. She's died so much. She's like 1 in 7. Like, that's always my justification for stealing the ages from my teammates is... You're just going to waste I've, it. I've, I've died the most, therefore I deserve it, surely. Oh, like, yeah, you but... use the I deserve it argument. Yeah. I would use the you're useless and you're just going to exactly. waste it argument. But my argument is, guys, I keep dying. I need the ages. <laughs> I feel like that's no one's argument here. It's one in seven. He's like, guys, I need the ages. Come on. I feel like you're pulling a fast one on them, Ted. <laughs> it, it never <laughs> Not works, sure I like though. your logic. That sounds pretty, pretty freaking mafia to me. 
This is the time to fight. No one's got a DD. He, I think he needs a blink. I really do. Oh, he's going to get oh. caught out off the bat. He has the BKB, but Laguna's here. Got the shackle and Kuro, though. What a beautiful catch out. He BKBs and just, oh, where Kuro turned and Laguna him. No, they're not even going to need it. And the BKB is going to wear off. He still holds that Aegis, wants to save it. I suppose that Laguna still available. If they can kill him another time. Oh, oh now they're going to get him twice. Kuro's yep. patience will pay off, it seems. This is can bad, save him? Oh, silence. I thought he was gonna. Uh, I thought he was gonna snowball to try and save. Him. But there's a disruptor ult. I don't think it's gonna make a difference. Nope, he managed to get away. Fata. He's gonna eat quite a bit of damage here. Nope, he's gonna be good. He's fine. No problem. Zoops away. PL though. Possible cleanup crew. Oh, can he kill everyone? Possible this might be a PL kills everyone kind of fight. Fata will end up going down. Oh. No, they all TP away. He got one. That was good. Good TP. Out. Uh oh. Matumba and Solo's the gem carrier. He may lose this. But Tumba Man does even inventory slot. He could drop oh. his bottle and get out with it. But the PL starts marching in. Oh, he's Remember. away. He's away. He, he got the it. he got the gem too. He's got the gem. That's big. Fada is just schooling <laughs> Vega. 14, 3, and 8. This guy is doing it with style. Matumba man, you mean? Did I say I Fada? Yeah, Matumba. Fata. What, what the I, hell I, am I talking about? That's alright. I clicked his score. OLD! Noob caster! Let me just start a Reddit thread about that. I cannot oh. <laughs> excuse. The mistake that LD made. This is a supposed to be a fight. Yeah, I just got I got I just got dumpstered by Pflex. <laughs> Stuffed right in. And people say I'm not here for a reason. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, the I reason is to, <laughs> to, to make Winter. fun of me. Winter uh, would have been too polite to say anything. He would never actually maybe. He would so Matumba Man went for a Lakens, and normally I'm kind of iffy on this item on Ember, but. This game, if you think about it, like the only way he really dies is either a shackle or if he gets glimpsed into Static Storm. So, as long as he plays safe when the Lincolns is on cooldown, but Tumbermad's basically immortal in these next fights. Yeah, I mean it, the the thing is about Vega, I think that the chase that that Fumf Junkers Junkers have is really good. Storm, Ember, uh, even Prophet, you know, TPing behind them and stuff. That's great. And I think that getting that Lincolns means he can chase deeper. He's not going to get glimpsed. He's not going to get stunned. So I think that really that really makes makes a lot of sense. Hmm. They're they're bottled up, man. Everybody's up. getting aggressive here. No, they're going to find the PL. He goes in on Defada, lancing him immediately. Even Phantom rushing forward. Yeah. By himself, he's okay. So Exes from chat says, I'm going with LD on this one. If you're a useless piece of shit, you don't deserve Aegis, Ted. Yeah, no, no, I agree. That's what I'm saying. It never works. I'm just saying it purely to be selfish. Like, if, okay. if you're bad, you yeah. don't deserve Aegis. Give it to your strongest player, the person who's performing best. They're going to give the most money up. Storm. Oh, did the old TP zoop, which I still don't fully understand. It's just weird because the, like, the TP animation doesn't follow the hero. It's kind of weird. I think that's why it's so confusing for people. PL starting to come online though. He's getting towards that eye of Scotty. He is 11 and 4. We mustn't learn to live this, alright? As much as Matumba Man is 14 and 3, as much as that, PL is 11 and 4, which is also very scary. And I agree, you're right, Ember Spirit does deal with that later, but I don't think we can overlook the potential for Wind Ranger. Even 1 8 Wind Ranger, once she gets Ags, can do a lot of damage to a hero to get him locked down. A lot of damage. Get the PL in there. They're going high ground, yeah, Ted. They, they have the focus fire. No one can really chew through this tower if he wants to pop it. Hanging on for now. Doesn't have the eggs though, yeah, so it is waiting. a pretty long cooldown actually. Yeah, he's waiting. And he don't, he don't want to pop it and then get get glyph. So they do glimpse one. The TP back. He's out of the fight for now. The Winter Wyvern. Pasha getting caught though. They dropped the Static Storm. Not the best. They're gonna need They're to retreat quickly. Out. Ember's gearing up. Oh, that dazzle. Healing them all up. Glimmers. Oh, there's a snowball. This is a delaying snowball. This are they going in or are they just sacking him? Is no, the question. He's throwing himself on his sword. Wait, Bird Patch is coming in. He's going for Matumba. Then we did this. Mag goes down. He's out. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, there's also action there. Mind control split pushing with Kuroki. They're going to find the Dazzle Sayoma the Slayer getting caught out. Blasted from full HP. We'll end up going down. And then Pasha looks like he'll be next, next here. Bottom just getting completely outmaneuvered yes. Yes. and picked apart. Not sure about that play. I think that I, I thought the Tusk was doing a bit of a sacrificial lamb roll and just throwing himself in to say, look, live, my friends, live. And his team were like, yes, we'll live. And then PL turned around and ran in. And uh, I think he was just like trying to trying to buy him some time, maybe. 
Well, they're in they're in good shape now. Uh, it's gonna be tough from here. They they have all buybacks available, I believe. Yeah, five buybacks. All the lanes pushing. PL's on the sidelines. They can force this buyback, and I don't even know if they have to stop after that. Well, they're definitely gonna get Rex here. I mean, Radiant's middle barracks are under attack. They're working there's on no the reason, melee. There's no reason to stop, really. And now that there's an MKB on Matumba oh, Man. Oh, Shackle catches. Matumba Man, though. Oh, solo. That Laguna. Just, just going down. They didn't get the Rex. I'm kind of uh, surprised. Yeah, they, they forced the PL buyback, though. If he yeah. dies again, it's, it's game. I, yeah. Anytime soon, rather. Gotta be very careful with the PL. Oh. Oh, I think Matumba Man wanted to try and catch him there. Didn't quite manage it. Uh, I, I think at this point, if you're Vega, you need like the miracle team fight where you get the big, you know, three, four hero static storm kinetic field. The yep. the PL gets to auto attack freely. The two hero shackle maybe, a good grave save in the midst of it, perhaps. I mean, they, then they basically need to hope that Windrunner and PL survive a fight where, like Ember and Storm, and maybe Prophet die. Because if Prophet lives, he's gonna get split push and he's gonna lose a Rax. If you if you want to push, right? So you've got to take out the Ember, you've got to take out the Storm. So you, and then you need to hope Wind Ranger with Focus Fire can somehow get in there and take down a building or something. It, it is going to be tough for them. They need they do need the perfect fight here. You can't really rat because if you rat, they have Ember Storm Profit. Like they're going to find you. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think you have to win a fight here somehow. The how is the big question. <laughs> but they need they need, they need to take out Profit. Like otherwise, he's going to rat them. I mean, all right, he doesn't have Book, he doesn't have Deso or something, so it isn't going to be like one of those occasions where Prophet, by the time you've noticed the Prophet is ratting, he's already taken a building. It's like Honestly, I, I think the Prophet's their least important hero by far right yeah, now. Yeah, 100%. But he can still split push. You know, you, you overlook him at your peril, my friend. Yeah, yeah, I can't argue with that. Because, I mean, as we said, like, the lanes are getting pushed and stuff, I mean... You know, if they can if they can push one of these lanes in, take a fight up here, probably can get around the back, he might be able to do something. That's all I'm saying. That's like that that's something they gotta think about. Ted, John Madden ain't got shit on you. I just wanna point that out. <laughs> well, 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 problem. <laughs> For some reason when you're the main main caster or no, it's like wh whatever you're whatever you draw yourself on the map, it like right connects the lines in some really weird way I, I don't dude, understand. I said that to you in the first game we cast. I said if you draw a circle it looks all jaggedy and kind of it's got edges and stuff. Now, why is that? Happen. But yours is, looks know. fine. Yours looks fine to me. It looks like ass to me. If I draw a circle there it's got a huge jaggedy I lines. see a beautiful circle. Wonderful. I'm glad. Yeah. <laughs> My own not so much. Maybe try to find Kuroki here with the glimpse back. Kuroki by the way who has 5,000 gold. I just want to point that out. Well, four four thousand. Uh, okay. <laughs> He's still almost even with the Wind Ranger, even after the Aegis, even after the Roche fight. What does he get here? I mean, he can get pretty much anything he wants. Hex is pretty good. Uh, I think a Blink might be an idea here. Blink, Blink, Hex is probably the way to go. Maybe a BKB, but uh, I think I think you want the Hex refresher build, to be honest. Money to burn. Get the double Laguna, the the double Hex going. That would be ridiculous. That's always fun. Spend some money.